Hey, so here we go. This is how to make paint your own crankbaits, topwaters, jerkbaits. Pretty simple. I'm going to do the abridged version because everybody loves my long winded videos, right? Get yourself some blanks, get yourself some rattle can spray paint. Don't do too heavy of coats, real light coats. Make your parents however you want. Always paint your light stuff first, unless you do it the other way. <laughs> Use a Sharpie. You can buy eyes, you can make eyes, you can put them on yourself. Good split rings and hooks are important. Before you do that though, I dip them in clear polycrylic. Uh, a coat or two seals them up. There you go. That's how you do it. See, that was easy. Now we know. <laughs> this is Hickbilly Outdoors with DW Verse. We'll get a little bit more in depth than that in just a minute. I promise. Stay tuned. That was me being a smart Alec. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's pretty simple, guys. Um, I heard several folks say on UltimateBass.com, which is why all this has come about. If you haven't seen my intro video to this, look it up. Um, that they had no artistic talent or whatever. What? You don't need artistic talent. Um, these things do not have to be perfect, and I make no attempt to make them perfect. So if you like perfect, you're on the wrong channel. Um, some things you got to have. First off, you got to have the blanks. These are blanks from Predator Bass Lures. I'll put a link in the description below. Where, yeah, um, Michigan, he does really cool baits. Um, bass fisherman himself. So you have to have some blanks. Um, they're actually pretty reasonable compared to what this thing costs brand new, you're gonna save a bunch of money. Okay, so you gotta have some blank, you have something to paint. Or, everything I'm showing you will work on your old baits too, old crank baits or plugs that are beat up. All this will work the same way. I'll do another video someday on that, get a little bit more prep involved, okay? You have to have that. You have to have some sort of spray paint. And guys, I went back there and grabbed out of a pile just several colors of spray paint. Um, it's so easy, it, it's just, it's not even fair. It, I'm gonna make myself look like a hero and it ain't that hard. You need some masking tape. Um, there's modeling tape, it's really cool, but it's more expensive, it's really thin, it doesn't matter. You get a little bit of overrun of paint, it ain't gonna hurt anything, I promise. Unless it hurts your feelings, you need to be a proctologist if it bothers you, because you you're anal. <laughs> um, I have several ways that I hold the baits. The best way I've found is little sticks with alligator clips on them. Um, that's a pretty cool way to do it. I, you hold a pair of pliers, you're going to get some paint on you. Uh, get some soft annealed, like uh, what, number uh, 11 or 14 wire, light wire. That works okay. But uh, those little alligator clips, it's modeling stuff. I bet you Hobby Lobby has these. I don't remember where I, I used to use these on model car stuff. So pretty handy. I about bet you a Hobby Lobby, any hobby store would have something like that. Heck, Walmart may have it, I don't know. Um, so we got our paint, well we got our, got our bait, we got our paint, we got masking tape, we got a way to hold them. For now, that's all we need. Okay, so I'll get into it just a little bit more in just a second. Uh, I, I really should have put a script on it, I should have wrote this all out. I'm just going to do it the way I do it and try to explain as I go and not be too long on this. So that's where we're at. So let's go to the next step. We're going to do a little prep thing. Obviously this video is going to take some heavy editing because I was just thinking uh, a couple things i tell you before I get any further along. Um, I used to take these brand new blanks and wash them hot soapy water. Or I even tried lightly steel wool them with real fine steel wool because a lot of these kind of things have a release agent they use on it to get it out of the mold 
and uh, hot soapy water should be enough to get rid of that. But then one day, a, a neighbor, a friend of mine, needed some baits. He needed a couple baits of a certain color, crawdad color he wanted. And he wanted them the next day, which is possible. Or day and a half, whatever. And I didn't do anything except paint them, let them dry, clear coat them, and put hooks on them. And those baits never had any problems. And so I haven't been doing that. The other thing, though, that will get you in trouble, or a thing that will get you in trouble is greasy hands. I try not to touch the baits much. I touch the, the bills, maybe. Um, but grease on the hands, your oily hands, that will really mess up a paint job. Not that the fish will care, but the paint won't stick well. So uh, make sure you keep your hands clean. They make tack cloths. They make all kinds of things you can do. I've done model cars before, trying to get a perfect paint job. I'm not into perfect. Just that's the thing that gets you in some trouble. I, you can you can put a big old thumbprint on one, and it would show. Um, it would hold everything and lift back off of it, maybe. So just uh, handle them whenever possible, as little as possible, with your hands, and keep your hands clean. Now there's one I'm gonna take. Now I'm gonna take it outside and spray it. Uh, spraying inside. It makes a woman mad, which I don't care about. But, uh, I'm in my restaurant. I'm going to go outside. It'll be a little older, but we're closed for a few days. There's one. I, I take that bill off. I don't care if it's perfect. It's close enough. And that's what I'm going to hold that one. And remember this bait. This bait is going to be the simplest bait you're going to see me do for a paint scheme. It's going to be crazy simple. I want you to remember what this bait looks like right there. And then the finished product in a day or two, you'll see. Okay? So let's go paint the thing. I will tell you all, it's kind of important that everything is warm to do this. Now, I'm outside, it's only 50 degrees out. But have your paint warm, your baits warm, and just come outside and go back in. I did this last year when the weather was zero and I never had a problem. So we're going to take this purple. This is a, a lavender purple. I'm going to do just, just like this. See, I, Can you see this? Am I doing this close? See if this works. And that's how much I did. Just, just, that's all, okay? We're done with it. Okay, we're gonna do this wiggle wart, this rock crawler. And we're gonna do it in kind of what they call Missouri crawdad, which has always been standard for me, a brown back, tan side, orange belly. So we're gonna do the orange belly first. That'll get us our layering effect, which again, isn't that important. Um, but we're gonna get to where the orange is the bottom part of the bait. So, trying to get this where you can see it. And that's all you need. That much. Okay? So, that might be the biggest trick to tell you all about how this works is, what is that bait? Um, is less is way better than too much. Okay? I mean, just simple little coats is all you need. So... This could be a two or three camera deal. I was thinking a while ago, maybe I'd get my action camera and put on my head and maybe you see it from my point of view. I may try that after I see what this looks like. So here's what we got so far. Orange, up the sides a little bit, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna have to say it over and over and over. And then that's the jerk bait I just did. One, one coat of each now. That jerk bait's got that iridescent it just makes a cool bait. And I see I got slightly purple down, slightly farther on this side and the other side. That just breaks my heart, guys. So you saw, just squirt, squirt, squirt. Just little bitty coats of paint. Don't get ate up about it. That's probably where most people fail at this. They probably try to put too much on. I have never sanded the bait back down and start over. I can always make something out of it that works. So um, seriously, those light of coats, we're talking 10 minutes and you put another coat on as long as you leave them light like that. So uh, we're going to wait a few minutes. We're going to add one more coat to them. And in keeping uh, with my theme of simple is better, there's a whopper popper. Um, I've taped off the tail of it mostly. Mostly because I don't want to get a bunch of paint in there where I can glom up the works. Okay? See? I don't mind if it's a little bit exposed. I don't mind getting a frost of paint on that rubbery tail, 
But I'm not going to put a clear coat on it, so I'm not worried about it. I just want the paint to be on the main body. Simple, simple, simple. Remember this and that jerk bait. You're going to see at the end how simple this can be to make a nice bait. And guys, I realize quick how, how fast I'm running out of light today. Um, and you're going to have to have good lighting to show you how this works. I just took that Whopper Popper outside and put one extremely thin coat of black. Now, one trick that I do, I use a lot of flat black. Flat black makes really cool colors on baits. I like it better than a gloss black. It kind of is a little bit glossy because it hasn't dried. But that's actually flat. It just makes pretty neat looking baits. And you can buy that Walmart flat for, I think it's still just a dollar nineteen a can or something. Primer, black, whatever. Okay? One quick coat. And guess what? That's all I'm putting on that bait right there. That one coat of paint is all I'm going to do for paint. Okay, for this rock crawler next, I've got a, it's a satin brown boot. It's kind of a tan brown, a real light brown. I'm going to come in, I'm gonna, I don't want to cover up the orange. I'm going to come in more from the top and sides. And again, so quick and easy. Watch this. This, this is as fast and easy as it should be. Right there. That's all. Now I've got kind of a tan side orange belly. You digging on that? That's how easy it is. That quick, that easy. Okay, back to our jerk bait. Flat black again, okay? Now, I've already done the lavender. I'm going to try to do a little bit less of the black and do the back. I want that lavender to kind of show through on the sides. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Clear out, and here we go. And that's enough. Okay, what I'm going to do on this last coat on a rock crawler, rock crawler, it's been a long day, guys. This is a, this is rusty metal primer. Rusty metal primer. It's kind of a dark brown. Rusty metal primer. I, I look at finding dark brown. It works really good. So, I'm going to leave a little bit of this orange on the bill just to add character. I'm going to try to shoot the paint from here up. So, if there's any art to this, it's getting your... You only get one shot at it, okay? I mean, it's just all you're going to get, so. So here we go. They're showing up good enough? Boy, guys, I can't do no better than that. So there you are, y'all. That's all I'm going to do for this one. Uh, these videos tend to get real long, I understand. I keep hearing the secrets, keeping them real short and sweet to the point. I don't know how to do that and get my point across. I'm just not talented enough, so. We'll talk some more pretty soon. I'm going to detail these baits. We're going to show you how to finish them out. And I'll do one more video where I'm going to do some custom stuff for specific people. Just kind of challenge myself, see if I can do it. That's it. I'm Dale Burks. Thanks for watching. You like what we're doing? Subscribe. If you don't, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Peace, y'all. Talk at you later.